Hello everybody, I'm Sniping is Fun. And you know, um, this review was supposed to take like a, like, I was supposed to do it like the day or so after my last review, the Just Dance 2 review, but that movie was reviewed like last Sunday or Monday. I think it was Monday. And I was going to be doing my review of this game in my next game, like, a, like the day or a day and two or a day or two after, but I didn't get to do it till now. So the games went back this past Wednesday. So both all three of these games went back Wednesday at uh, Family Video. So I don't have the car the like games anymore. Like when I did my review of Just Dance 2 and I had the case to show you, I don't have the cases anymore. But I'm still going to do my review for them. And today's review is going to be Guitar Hero. Warriors of Rock on the Nintendo Wii. Before I start that, I wanted to go back and show you a few more um, old games I was able to get over the last, I'd say within the last month and a half or so. Month and a half to two months or so. From two different places and a couple of different visits to one of them. Um, I'll start off, um, uh, I was like, it was, it was like last month or so, like back in September, when me and my mom went to the Salvation Army store by us, and I was able to find two old games, and I bought, and we, she bought them. Uh, it was the Tecmo Super Bowl on the PlayStation One. I'm not the biggest Tecmo a Tecmo Bowl fan, Tecmo football fan. I have the one on the game on the DS, and I have the original on the Wii Virtual Console. But I'm trying to get into it, and it was cheap enough. It was like two dollars, three dollars, two ninety nine. And it's, I only got to play it barely once, but once I, whenever I get a chance, I'll go back and play that. And the other one was Karaoke Revolution Volume 2, or 3, 3, Volume 3. I used to own Volume 2, but I got rid of that a couple years ago. And I used to own one of them on Xbox, when I used to have my original Xbox. I think it was Hot's Party or so, but um, now I have this, and the song list on this game is pretty cool, ranging from stuff like ABC, If I Ain't Got You, Respect. Uh, the reason, Unchained Melody, My Immortal Meant to Live, Love Shack, blah blah blah. It's basically the same thing as the as all the old Karaoke Revolution games, just different characters and songs and whatnot. And some places to play, and most of the places are the same from Volume Two though. That's from there though. But then I was able to go to this one store, my that that's near where my cousin Beal lives, the Insane Gaming Geek. He goes to this store usually. And it has a ton of old games. It has like Super Nintendo, the Tennis Core, Dreamcast, Xbox, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. It has the Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, the DS. It just and it has all these stuff like that. And I finally get me and my mom went there like the, our first time we went there. We've been there three times since the first time we went there till today. And uh, the second time I didn't buy enough, and I had to return some games. So I'll let you know which ones I returned. And then the third time I bought another one. Um, my first time I went there, I did buy four PS1 games. It was there was a certain sale in there, like two games that didn't have a sticker on it for like five dollars. And certain ones have stickers with prices on it, but these ones didn't. I was able to get. I used to. And besides one of these games, I used to own all of them. WF Warzone for the PlayStation One. Uh, WCW versus the World. Uh, Two Extreme and Double Seven Toronto Never Dies, which is the one I didn't own. I rented it before, but I never owned it. All the other ones I owned. Um, got some Nintendo 64 games. Uh, WWF Attitude. I used to own that game. It's a pretty good game. Never owned this game. WCW Backstage Assault. People say it sucks, but it was pretty cheap. It was like a dollar there or so. Dollar or two? It says dollar ninety nine cents on the back of this, but I don't know. If it, I'm sure that's what it was. It's it's decent for what it is, you know. I mean, people say it sucks, but there's been a lot worse wrestling games. Uh, for about forty nine cents, I got NBA Showtime, NBA and NBC. And my recent time I went there, I was able to get Turok to the Seeds of Evil. Then I was able to get some Super Nintendo games. I was able to get Tecmo Super. NBA Basketball, which I really, really play, and it's a pretty good basketball game. I have to give it that. Uh, I used to own this game, and it was only like $1.99. Rival Turk. It's a pretty good fighting game, side-scrolling fighting game, in my opinion. I used to play it when I was younger. And then I got Madden 94 and 95. And the ones I had to take back, I, I took back Madden 93, because it, it... And I took back the WBF Royal Rumble. They worked, but it seemed like they worked less than often. But, you know, knowing these games are old and all, but I was just trying to be um, more careful. Because these games worked a lot more than those games did. And it's just like, it's like, yeah, you know, if they don't, I don't want to be, like, thinking they're working and they're going to 
break in here, so, so you know, or like, stop working or so. So that's about it. And I've wasted enough time on uh, doing that, so let me get into the review of Guitar Hero Warriors Rock. Um, basically, this is very identical to what Guitar Hero 5 was, just the music's more rock oriented. The last one had more genres, this one's more. I think less genres, it's more rock rock and various types of rock kind of thing and heavy metal, even heavy metal, I say metal in there too, various types of rock and like metal. And it seems like a more serious, darker approach to rock. The last one, like Retardo 5 was a lot more brighter and more colorful in my opinion. The gameplay, same thing, the exact same thing pretty much, the only thing that's pretty much been added is now the warrior powers that you can get like times. 400, I don't know, like a ti like higher multiplier thing and everything, and various things to get you a high, sort of higher score and whatnot that you unlock through the story mode. The graphics presentation is pretty much the same as the game. When I first seen people do videos of the Wii version online it, on YouTube, it was like darker, it seemed like. It seemed like the visuals weren't not as good, and I was like, oh no, they're just the same visuals, just a little bit darker. Got the game, I thought the same exact thing, and then I looked at it, like, yeah, you know, I was originally going to rate the graphic presentation lower than the um, Guitar Hero 5, but it's just a different presentation style. It's pretty much the exact same presentation graphics as the Guitar Hero 5, maybe just slightly a little bit better, I don't know. The sound, it's bas it's as good as Guitar Hero 5. There's a lot of good music and they all sound pretty good. I mean, I'm not a fan of all the music in the game, but they all, all the ones I played sounded pretty good. Uh, the story, unlike the last one, which just was playing from like, you know, venue to venue playing the songs, this one has an actual story. Although it's not really realistic, it's a crazy story of like these guys, the, the rockers becoming their their warrior forms, and them having to play enough songs and get enough ranking to get up, to, and that gives them the powers, and they're supposed to save the rock god or something like that. The warrior rock, who they show you in the backstory, was defeated by that, but was defeated and whatnot, and you have to save him or so, and then it's just like that. I never got that far. I only made it to like the third person, but basically it goes on from there. And the multiplayer is exactly the same, pretty much. Same modes, like, you know, competitive modes, head-to-head, -head, whatnot. Online mode, which I didn't really even play, I didn't even play in the game. But it's pretty much, if you think about it, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock is pretty much the same exact game as Guitar Hero 5, just done a little bit differently. It's not that big of an improvement at all. Like, what probably Rock Band 3 is going to be the Rock Band series. And in the end, I give the gameplay a 9 out of 10. The graphics, the presentation of the game, an 8 out of 10. The sound of the game, a 9 out of 10. The story of the game, an 8.5 out of 10. And the multiplayer of the game, an 8 out of 10. So basically the game is, you know, good. If you're a fan of the Guitar Hero series, I recommend you buy it. If you're not really a big fan of the series, maybe you should rent it or maybe try one of the older games out. They're pretty much cheap. You can go back and play Van Halen or Metallica or 3 or Warriors or... Like, uh, uh, the Legends of Rock, or which is what three is actually? Oops, sorry. Uh, World Tour Five, Band Hero, or the Rock Band series. If you want to try that too? Um, they're pretty much identical, so really, it's yeah. Um, and if you, I, it's pretty much the same game. It's improved a little bit. If you like more rock rock music, you'll like this probably more than the last couple games. And the DLC pretty much is from the same and they're just adding upon it and you could take music from five and previous games and put them in here not all songs will come in and it cost you have to have Wii points in order to download the songs and bring them from previous songs and probably need that code as well and it's pretty much the same game I can't really go much longer on this review and I know I spent probably most of this video doing my games but um, that's about it, really. I can't really go much into it. There probably, be, there definitely will probably be a longer review of when I ever do Rock Band 3. So in the end, I give Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock on the Nintendo Wii an 8.5 out of 10, and it is a pretty good game. I have to say that. In my next review, which will be the third game I rented last week, is going to be a basketball game that just came out on the Nintendo Wii. And there's not very many choices left, so you probably know it's one or two games, and I'm sure you know what game I rented. See you guys later. Peace. Have a good day.